the head-to-head -head, this is the first time that uh, they have met in Dubai they did meet in Las Vegas last winning on that occasion 33 points to 7 and if you have a look at the, uh, the team sheets you'll find that for Brazil they've uh, named number 10 Dave Harvey the former Australian Sevens representative in the starting seven the captain is number one Fernando Buchugal and for France some familiar names there but the captain Nadelio will actually uh, be on the bench to start along with Terry Buraawa France losing to Fiji 54 to 7 and lost to Argentina 26-21 Argentina getting up on the last play of the game. And they make their way out. It's Brazil on the right. France on the left. Brazil losing to Argentina. 17 points to 5. They were very competitive for most of the 14 minutes. And they lost to uh, Fiji 36 to 5. But a lot of people lose to Fiji. Greg Clark with you. And alongside me is Scott Hastings and... Well, this should be an interesting contest. Brazil will see this as a game that they just might be able to cause a few problems in. Yeah, thank you, Greg. And they certainly played well against uh, Fiji. And we saw some bright spots for them. And they'll fancy this. Uh, France, well, they do blow hot and cold. They had uh, the beating of Argentina. And Argentina sneaked in with that uh, final try. So, well, France, they had two fear up. Uh, winning performances in the summer and I actually thought that coming into this season they may well spark but uh, just a little bit of hit and miss at the moment we're underway in pool A action and uh, that's not a great start not going to require 10 metres by France and that's just exactly what I was saying a bit hit and miss well it was miss hit yeah coach will not be happy with that Frederick Pomerol so this gives Brazil some cheap possession early on on the uh, halfway trying to plan move and crashing through is Giuliano Ferrari nobody in front of him Fiore what a try to Brazil first try in his World Series career he's played some right before the Richmond Club in the UK, his father is uh, Brazilian and so he's having a crack at the Olympics in 2016. Well, that's his game, his goal. Well, Fiore there, no sweeper for France in the defensive chores. And once Brazil broke that defensive alignment, well, Fiore, he just had a run in. Terrific angle, has hit the gap at pace. So it is Brazil leading France by seven points to nil. Brazil, it's their first sevens tournament at this level outside of the Americas. Towed through, and it's going to sit up in the field of play, but then getting his boot to it was the captain, Fernando Portugal. He overcooked it. Yeah, he didn't quite have the soccer skills to control the rugby ball. It's quite rare for a Brazilian. <laughs> 16,000 rugby players in Brazil, 300 clubs. They've got 20 contracted sevens players based in Sao Paulo. And uh, they're on a mission to learn as much as possible in the shortest time as possible because they will be contesting the Rio Olympics in 2016 as the host nation. So they're on halfway. The try scorer now. Fiore, look to offload, he's got some skills, Fiore. The Schaefer, and the penalty goes to Brazil. Well, fabulous Fiore there, wearing that number three jersey, the distinctive scrum cap as well. Plays um, for the Apache Sevens, which is an international invitation team. So he's managed to pick up some seven skills playing with the Apache Sevens. David Harvey there, the left footer into that right touchline. He's nailed a good, uh, good territorial kick there. And keep an eye out uh, on the wide outside, Alan Martins. He's on the far left wing and he has got a bit of pace about him. 
just depends if Brazil can stretch the French defence. Well, they've got more pill. And it is Harvey now taking it into uh, contact. Grandson of the great Australian cricketer Neil Harvey. And France. Now, can they hit back? They've had no possession whatsoever. And Candelon! Straight through. Julian Candelon, the 34-year-old. He's still got some pace. And he hits back for France. So first real opportunity. And they come up with the five-pointer. Candelon just pumped his legs there, hit that angle. Look at it, took the short angle, got inside that Brazilian defence, missed tackle. Well, does it count as a missed tackle if you're just touching him? But Candelon, all that experience gets this Brazil, gets the uh, French team back on level, pegging with this Brazilian team with a successful conversion. 61st try in his career. Seven all, Brazil and France. That's out on the fall, so that's two mistakes. At kickoff time for France, they're real coach killers as we call them. Always a great atmosphere inside this stadium, Greg, as the floodlights come on, the sun will be down in the next uh, hour and a real fantastic atmosphere. And the, uh, the final games of the uh, pool stages in day one. Don't forget also we've got the final matches in the Women's World Series as well. Australia and New Zealand women to play off in the final later. Now putting it through the hands and getting it out to uh, Shabadi. Oh, that he's lost his footing, gets up, tries to go again. Has he got the momentum? Did he get it down? Referee is saying he was held up. Yeah, Mike Adamson right there. I thought he was held up straight away as well as uh, Julian Sobad. And Sobad went in, but Brazil got back and held him up over the line. Well, it was a try for all money. Just losing his footing. Julian Sobad there. So it's 7 all. Free kick, taken quickly, and did he get it down? He did. He has stolen another one, Julian Cundalon. So that's his second for the match. It's so hard, isn't it? Because the uh, the Brazilians push, but look how quick Cundalon is. Quick tap restart. You can't get back ten yards, but it's the advantage is with the French on this occasion. And Cundalon, well, he was sharp in the mind and sharp with his try Perez looking to add the extra two can't do so on this occasion so it's 12 points to 7 France over Brazil both of these teams playing for third place in the pool losing both games so far on day one for France that's a better kick off and going high and claiming it was Schaefer and it went backwards so it's off one of the French players so it's play on the clock offloading getting it out to Martins switch of play from the Croix that time it's Moises the Croix and the penalty goes to France so good opportunity here Not interested in the line out. They take the tap. Work the move. Perez out the back. And that has been picked up now by Harvey of Brazil. And Lucas the Croix. Martins cutting back on the angle. Getting the fan going. Was it held? Gets up and goes again. Claimed by Gundalon. And now the turnover and Perez. He's got Harvey to beat, losing his footing. Still there for France. 
And they've got numbers. They float one over to Sabad. He steps, pops it up. The linea can't offload, goes to ground. And a little knock on spotted in there by the referee. That is half time. So, not a lot in it. But it is the French after conceding the first try to Brazil, leading at half time. France 12, Brazil 7. Wow, look at the crowd building up. Heading into the final matches on day one at the Dubai Sevens. There's the French coach, Frederic Pomerel. attaquent le milieu du terrain donc verrouillez cette zone là très solide au milieu vous ne risquez rien ailleurs ok un petit poil d'application sur les coups d'envoi en un cas que deux c'est ce qui nous prive de ballon pendant 4 minutes The Brazilian coach uh, Andre Mignoli trying to rally the troops at half time. Wouldn't it be wonderful for Brazil to break their duck and come up with a upset victory on day one at Dubai? But the French, what have they got for us in the second half? Will it be more hit and miss? Well, it's all about the possession, and Brazil started the half well. They got that flying try. And uh, lots to play for. They're still very much competitive in this. So France with early possession, but good work at the breakdown by Brazil, and they turn it over, flick one out through the legs, and it's been uh, cleaned up. Martins on the angle run from takes a pass from uh, Ducroix. Good pressure from France though. Harvey plays it back. Ducroix, Martins, not a lot happening there. Tackled by Delinia. Now it's Harvey. He chips the chase. It sits up, but Candelon wins the race. And gets away from Harvey. Gets away from Portugal. Gandalon picking up the support in in the goal. Penalty though against France. So they're just lacking some rhythm, the French. And wide they go. Brazil through Schaefer. Pops it out the back door. Fiore will pick up. A good tackle from Perez. Now, chance for France. For a counter, Salbad takes it to the 22. In the side, Rockers formed. Oh, we've <laughs> we've had some scrappy play there, haven't we? Just both teams trying to find some continuity and fluency within their attack structures. Let's go, let's go. I just feel that Brazil are just getting sucked into a tighter game, and when they get sucked into that tight game around the contact area then uh, they're unable to compete with the more physical dynamics of this French team. But they've still got some work to do, France. Leading by 12 to 7, but at the wrong end of the paddock. Perez getting it away now. Ogiel, he offloads, that's better. And Delinha fires it over to the support. And can they bring the big man down? Martins tries, but now it's a try to John baptiste Mazaway. So good work in the end. That's more like the France of old. Yeah, très bon Jean Baptiste Gobelé. A little bit of fluency at last for this French team. The attack from deep and the determination there. He was aware of the fact that Alan Martins was coming in with a tackle for the Brazilians, but his weight and his physical presence manages to dot the ball down. 
So his first try in Dubai 2014. 19 points to seven after the successful conversion. A couple of changes for France, in fact, a few of them. Four minutes remaining. Just sorting out the substitutes now. Wakatawa is coming on. In Jersey 9, so he'll replace Vincent in the go. Eight, Gustavo Albuquerque is on for Brazil as well. Guys, we made the subs clear, please. taking the time with the substitutes now David Harvey is being replaced nine is coming out Lucas Dominguez for Brazil so Brazil need to be the next team to score Fiore and out through the hands it goes Silva and he now to the new man. This is Andre Silva. Fiori pops one up beautifully for Ducroix. And this is great work, great stepping. What a try coming up for Gustavo Albuquerque. That's better from Brazil and they are back in it. And... Albuquerque has got his first try ever on the World Series. The man they call Rambo. Ah, uh, the conversion is good as well, but when Brazil play a wider game, they're better at it. They got sucked into the physicality of the French. Couldn't compete, but once they spread and put width on the ball, they do have the attacking runners. And then this man here, Gustavo Albuquerque. Yeah, beauty! Nineteen fourteen. Two and a half remaining. Going high is for Ori, but it just went forward. Oh, that was unfortunate for Brazil. Because they had support. Well, the bounce of a rugby ball. It, can't it be cruel if you're chasing a game and a, a victory for Brazil, as you said. Greg, it would be an amazing uh, performance, but France now with the opportunity to keep the possession and trying to catch the napping down the short side is Terry Burawa halfway they look to spread it wide and up over halfway goes Vakatawa so hard to pull down pops one over to Perez He's taken to the right. They go. Burawa. Nigel kicking. Fiore is asked to go back, and he will place it. They will come back to the 22. Yeah, Julian Jani. I felt he was kind of playing to the uh, crowd, was he not? Ball still in play here for Brazil. Stays in the field of play. And France. Looking to clear it. Ziel up over halfway. That's a poor miss. In fact, it's uh, Jeanne. Jeanne kicking across now for Vakatawa. He takes his time. He's got one to beat. And he pops it over to Perez. And France. That's the one that will seal it for them. That's the winning try for Steven Perez. So France will come away with their first win after losing to Fiji and Argentina earlier on. Well, it was a brilliant bit of work down this near side. Perez with some good footwork will get the conversion uh, coming up. But look at this, the little cross-field kick. 
And then it was Vakatawa. Look at this for a bit of uh, bump and burl. There he goes. And another twirl. And then comes Perez. Well, that's a better step than Fred Astaire, that one. And Perez getting the match winner. That is full time. And so France finally get a win on the board. And Brazil will have to wait another day. So France 24, Brazil 14. And as the sun starts to set on the Seven Stadium at Dubai. Tackles missed by Brazil, 12. Very costly indeed. Plenty of passes completed. And in the end, it was France.